starting the seatbelt. When he goes to reach up, we want two on one here because remember two is more powerful than one. And I'm always going after the hand, not the wrist where he's powerful. So I want to be here on the hand. Now I'm going to push it down. Now watch, I'm going to lift my leg and I'm going to flip it. And then I'm going to grab here. Now watch, I pull my hand out. It goes to the floor and I turn and then I shrimp. I try to keep this knee inside the arm if I can here. If I have trouble with it, I can pull that across and then make my hook. And I want to hide my toes behind the back here. And then look, guys are going to block here. They're not going to let me just take the arm, relax real quick. They're not going to let me just have the arm like this. They're going to hide it here. So then I go to the elbow. Two hands on the elbow and I pull and I just lever off my own hip. Boom, just like that. Okay? Yep. So one more time. I block his hands, put block in it, flip it, pass it. Pull my hand out, look, shrimp. If I can keep this knee in here, that's great. If I have trouble with that knee, I can always pull this arm across and bring my hand around and then I lock it. Now I never want to push the head because I'm pushing him out of the triangle. I want to try to pull the elbow here. If I need to finish my triangle, I can always make a package out of him here. Look, and squeeze or get it on both knees. Boom, same thing. One more time. So we block. One, two, three. Look, the knee's already in there, so I'm good. Slide up, make my lock. Boom, attack the, the uh, shoulder first here. Boom, right there. I can always squeeze against the head here. Boom, finish it here. If he starts getting squirrely with his legs, I can grab those legs here. Look, boom. Oh, that's scary, right? Yep. <laughs> so here again, two hands. And see how I'm always trying to block that hand? And again, I want to emphasize grabbing the fingers. I love grabbing the fingers because it's hard for people to defend that. So I go to here and then I make my pass. My hand comes out. See how I nudge that knee on the inside here? I nudge that knee on the inside. I want to own that space. See how I keep it nice and tight. Nice and tight. And then I hide those toes back there because if I leave it here, he starts trying to take things apart, right? So I wanna hide my foot behind his back as much as I can. And then look here, you gotta treat this like it's an arm bar. Pull it back, get it against your hip here and pry against your hip. And you're gonna kinda have to pull it a ways up before they tap. Boom, just like that. With the choke here, I grab around my knee I can, if I can get around both knees, that's great, but a lot of times it's difficult. So I go around the arm in my knee, lock my fingers together, and I squeeze, just like that. Um, coming back up, one more time. So this time when I go here, I make my pass. He makes this big move, like he's gonna throw my leg and slide. That's where I wanna catch him. So I caught him in there, I'm just waiting for him to make that move. And that's gonna happen more often than not. They're gonna try to slide out like that. And then boom, here we are again. So one more time. I'm in here, I block it, I catch it. Right away he starts to slide. Uh oh, boom, I wanna own that space. So look, if I get to here and I lose that arm, I pull that arm up. I get a hold of that sleeve here. Boom, 